Welcome to Soul Food Sunday. Now, as I was doing your pre-shuffle, this flew out. I did. Period. So, yes, God is acknowledging the fact that he did promise you some things. Fulfillment. Fulfillment is the now. The achievement of something promised. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead and get you a message happy sunday to everybody and we're going to start off with psalms 23 you will notice that we're doing some things a little different a little bit more structure hope you guys enjoy it thank you so much for the new subscribers thank you guys so much for the black friday and cyber monday sales thank you guys for being a part of divinely me holistic center let's get y'all a message baby Marvin Sapp, Psalms Father God, we give you thanks and praise for waking us up this morning. Father God, opening up not just our physical eyes, but our spiritual eyes. Father God, show us what needs to be healed within us. Open up, to our, open up our hearts to the transformation. Father God, ask me that you will purify our mind, body, and soul. Lord, we give you thanks and praise, honoring your name. Father God, asking that you will help them understand their spiritual calling, their spiritual purpose. Father God, leading and guiding them down the correct path, shielding and protecting them and their family, protecting their finances. Bringing them emotional security as well as sincerity. Father God, we thank you for the clarity. In your son's name we praise. Amen and I shake. Like a shepherd.
Healing Chaos. So, baby, you just got out of a storm, okay? So, you're healing from the chaos. Now, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a heart and heart in a situation. Isaiah 6 and 9. Go, say to these people, keep listening, but do not understand. Keep looking, but do not perceive. So you may keep hearing something over and over again, but you're not able to apply it to your situation. Maybe you're not able to understand it. You may keep looking but yet you are struggling to perceive the meaning of something. Your direct message. Victory breeds hatred. The defeated sleeps in misery. One who has calmed down sleeps in comfort, having given up victory and defeat. So somebody feels defeated. At one point in time, they could have felt victorious, but that victory, it started to breed this hatred. And this could be hatred towards you. Because those who have been defeated, now they struggle to get rest. There's this misery, and as you know, baby, misery loves company. That is a quote from Buddha. So there are two different individuals that God is referring to in this message. One that feels victorious. And maybe at times you love the victory or the feeling of success, but you hate what comes along with it. Because if you win, then that means that somebody has to lose. And it could be vice versa. You could be the one that feels defeated in a situation, feel let down, struggling when it comes to sleep. Having hatred in your heart being grumpy when it comes to other individuals having the victory. Somebody needing to calm down in order to be able to sleep in peace, sleep in comfort. Somebody is having to let go of a situation where they feel defeated. See, affirmations this week are about unity, being on one accord, universal oneness, remembering that we are all one, that we are all human, that we all have the same needs. We just go about them in different ways. You have the same desires as the next person. Your environment, your moral compass, and your beliefs is what gets you to the same thing that everybody is searching for. Acceptance, love, forgiveness. Somebody may need forgiveness and you may be called to forgive someone. But at some point in the situation, you could have hardened your heart. There could be some type of heartache. You keep hearing something. And this could, again, go back to you hearing a message, but yet... You don't understand the message. You don't understand what your spirit team is trying to convey to you. And this could even be with synchronicities. 
See, sometimes when you receive downloads, information, or messages, it's not meant for you to understand in that very second, but it is meant for you to store in your memory bank. So then when it comes time to put the puzzle together, you have all of the pieces. There are so many things that you do not understand about your situation. There's so many things that you keep looking for. This could be even with prophecies. May your words today overflow with love. See, Spirit wants your words today to overflow with love. And when you're coming from a space or a place, you're catching on to some things. But when you come to a place or a space where you have hardened your heart to a situation, it is hard for you to allow love to flow in and love to flow out. What is in a man's heart flows from their lips. How they truly feel. You could have been through a lot. There could be some dead tissue dead heart muscle the situation could be causing you to have cardiovascular issues even heartburn let your love flow from your lips Instead of disdain. This period is about learning. It's time for you to heal from some type of chaotic situation. There's a transformation. Somebody could have made some grave mistakes. And maybe it's hard for you to forgive that. But out of this situation comes transformation and healing. God is going to surprise you with something. Maybe the victory that you envision doesn't look the way that you had envisioned. Maybe God delivers justice in a different way for you. Can we get two more, please? Justice looks different for you. And the last one. So, you're juggling a lot. Working very hard to balance everything in your life, your emotions. Things could be rocky, things could be up and down. There could be a lot going on when it comes to these solar plexus. You need to find some inner peace. Inwardly, you feel as if you're juggling a lot of priorities. For some of you guys, you could feel like you're walking a fine line when it comes to the timing of a situation. Home could be significant. So there's a need for balance and fun opportunities. 
And this could be what God is showing you. Illumination. So your spiritual team, they're illuminating a lot to you. This could be how other individuals may see you. This could be about you mirroring other individuals. Your reflection. Somebody doesn't see themselves the way they truly are. Somebody is so far off when it comes to the judgments of themselves. There could be a calm before the storm. There's the awakening. There's a need for you to pause, reflect in order to gain insight. Embrace who you are. For some of you guys, this could have to deal with your roots, hmm. the two paths. We did a message over at the website um, in the VIP section, and I will put a clip right here. You guys can check this out over at the website. And at the end, we will put a small clip of the message. But you have the same two paths. Here. God is about to illuminate. There's a universal um, awakening. God is about to illuminate to individuals what path they chose. This is going to take place by Christmas. The two paths. Some individuals may be turned upside down. Their world could be turned upside down. There's a need to heal from this chaos. There's enlightenment all around you. Somebody is releasing something. The month of, uh, or fall could be significant. Okay, baby, there's a release when it comes to security. This could even be what makes the spiritual community feel secure. I also feel as if what's been stored up in heaven is being released to you by way of your spiritual gifts because, again, you are healing from some type of chaos. And it goes back to the victory that you have may breed some type of hatred towards you because the defeated, they sleep in misery. Hmm. Maybe during this time, you find yourself not wanting to be very open with individuals. You may feel a need to keep certain things to yourself. And this could even be the victory that maybe you're celebrating. And those who feel defeated may also be keeping those things to themselves as a form of protection. Look at this, protecting you from that Ten of Swords energy. A situation has finally come to an end. The waiting period has finally come to an end. No more sadness. Opportunities for new things. Hmm. You may be leaving at night. Somebody could be traveling at night. Leaving 
everything that they've been carrying behind. The betrayal, the sadness, finally getting something off their chest. Letting go of addictions. Somebody could also get a knock at the door or leave a door open. You're being protected from somebody just walking into your space. And here you are applying wisdom, emotional intelligence. Especially when it comes to your abundance. This could be a very fertile time for you. You may have a, a desire to eat some type of fish. Hmm. So baby, it's time for you to utilize wisdom when it comes to how you move. You're getting a reward when it comes to your hard work. For some of you guys, you may be realizing that there's some type of attention that your vehicle could need. Okay, somebody needs to put some type of um, like oils or water, get it professionally done in their vehicle. So there's some action. Be wise with the action that you take. There's some action that you need to take. Okay. You have the opportunity to get ahead of a situation. You need to make plans for the long term. So you're getting money from past decisions. And what do you have? Fulfillment. The actions that you take lead to fulfillment. Queen of Pentacles. You may experience a period of generosity. You could even be feeling supported. I do feel like you've been waiting to take some type of action. This could be to truly invest in something. A hurt other than yourself. I told you, you're being protected from being so open about what really is taking place in your life. Because you are being blessed. You have fulfillment of wishes. It's like your determination could bring you some type of recognition see you're moving on past and you know this is something that it could have taken you some time to move past whatever that ten of swords was whatever brought you a sense of sadness where you were a little melodramatic you move past that and you move into this energy of opportunity fertility fertile times a time where you are wanting to be surrounded more around friend up uh, family friends that have turned into family your family you are more practical You're more approachable. Somebody could be waiting for 
someone who has all of the qualities that you have. Somebody is looking for something that you have. But it requires you to limit who you open up to. You know, sometimes maybe you just want to get something off your chest, something off your shoulder. But it's like, limit people's access to you by what it is that you give them verbally. Be wise with that decision. You can't give all of yourself to everyone. Because something's going to be illuminated to you. within your situation that definitely helps you to move forward. Somebody's dealing with a cancer. Somebody needs to be wise when it comes to just diving head first into a situation based upon somebody's actions. Are they trying to fulfill your desires or theirs? What's meant for you is going to be for you. You may come to the realization that your spirit team was not just protecting you from you making a fool of yourself, completely opening up and giving somebody everything that you have when they could have had the potential to hurt you. It's like be a little bit more wiser when it comes to how you connect the actions that you take with other people you're at a, a different level this is a very gracious time for you baby hmm Let's get you ancestor messages. Let's find out, though, what is this awakening? What's being illuminated to you? They have been guiding you through this whatever sadness or betrayal that you felt from a situation. You could have been a little overdramatic. Okay. But they're going to illuminate something to you. It's like they're opening up your eyes to what they have been protecting you from. It's like proceed with caution. Your actions. You could have been waiting for something for a long time, baby. And one wrong move could cost you, you know, everything, especially with the connection that you have to the spiritual realm. There's a need for you to think before reacting or responding. Queen of Wands, Aries, Emperor Energy, Six of Swords, and the Six of Cups. So, a child, okay? You know, for some of you guys, this could be a child's not going anywhere. You have, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Or for some of you guys, somebody, somebody could want some type of attention or be getting some type of attention. For some of you guys, this could also have to deal with a business. Something is not going somewhere. Something from the past. Hmm. your boss or even an Aries could be keeping their emotions hidden the father hmm. 
you need to take some time and think about the past. Something didn't change. Maybe somebody didn't change. You know, for some of you guys, it could be time for you to let go of the fact that you feel like somebody disappointed you. Opening up to the wrong individual may not be right. You have to check your internal senses. In order to gauge a situation, especially when it comes to you opening up. You know, with this Queen of Wands energy, I feel as if this is going to be a very... Mm -hmm, I feel as if this is a situation that somebody is not just driven, but it makes me feel like something you say, there we go, something you say could get the wrong attention. Maybe it could attract the wrong person. So you need to be wise with how you move. Physically, you may be exhausted. Somebody could be running down like a vehicle. Okay. You have a relationship. There's going to be something that's illuminated to you. This could be with the union. There's a relationship that's a divine union that's not going anywhere. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. This is faded. And again, there could have been some type of prophecy about this. You know, be wise when it comes to what you have already found yourself investing in and working hard for. Somebody is very intelligent. You could utilize a lot of um, mental strength in order to bring in your financial success. Somebody's also going to get pregnant fast. If you're in childbearing years, you have a divine union here. It's something that's not going anywhere. It's a child that's not going anywhere. You have the divine masculine here. There's a strong attraction. For others of you, you know, don't risk what you are about to give birth to. Looking back at the past. Ooh, honey. They said don't risk what you are giving birth to. To look back at the past. A situation or a person who is emotionally unstable. Somebody's actions. Somebody's been planning something for a long time. You could be dealing with a air sign or an earth sign. Somebody's fully cut off or, or getting fully cut off. Where is the blessing card? Let's see what you guys' blessing is this week. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Head over to the website if you guys are interested in seeing the extended message for today. 
I am seeing that video in the VIP section. Some chose the wrong path. Okay. So, emotional blessings that bring you clarity. For some of you guys, you may find yourself crying this week. And I feel like this is going to be happy tears or a form of you letting go of some type of pent up emotion that could have been keeping you stuck. Okay. Somebody is utilizing mechanical pencils also. Spirituality this week. There's something spiritually being ingrained in you being nurtured. You could definitely have a three to four piercings in your ear. Even a tattoo, honey, on your shoulder. Do not be surprised if you find yourself up at night. Somebody could be 48. You could even be born in 84. I was about to say 85. Do not be surprised if you were up at night. Somebody's doing the Yoni steam this week also. That steam could definitely... Um, heal the the sacral chakra is what I heard hmm. thank you guys so much for your love and support for stopping by happy soul food Sunday baby bye <laughs>